What is a page counter reset? You might have come across the term page counter reset and wondered if it really works, and if so how it works. In this video, I'll unveil the secrets behind page counter systems used in laser printers. Laser printers are intricate machines with multiple moving parts that work together to produce prints. Over time, these parts undergo wear and tear, similar to car tires, and eventually require replacement. As many of us are aware, these maintenance parts can be quite expensive, ranging from 50 to over 2,000 US dollars per part, and may even require on-site technician support for installation. But have you ever stopped to wonder why parts that were functioning perfectly until the last page suddenly become completely unusable and demand immediate replacement? Is it truly necessary to replace them right at that moment? The wear and tear process on the printer parts is same as the wear and tear process on car tires. So, to have a better understanding of this scenario, let's consider cases of using tires. In the first case, imagine using a set of tires on a small car being driven gently on a smooth and clean road under mild weather conditions. In the second case, using another set of tires on a much heavier car driven by someone with poor driving habits, frequent accelerations, sudden stops, and turns. This car navigates a road with full of damages and debris, all under the burning desert heat. Which situation do you think would result in a quicker wear and tear of the tires? If the set of tires is guaranteed to remain error-free for 10,000 miles even under the worst conditions, it is very clear that the tires used under mild conditions for the same 10,000 miles should have more remaining life. Now, let's go back to the printer scenario and consider a few well-known factors that influence the level of wear and tear on the parts. Firstly, document type. Printing a document with full images requires 10 to 20 times more usage of the laser on the drum unit compared to a text-only document often referred to as documents with 5% coverage as defined by ISO 19752. Secondly, printing media type. Printing on larger and rougher paper leads to more wear and tear on the parts than printing on smaller and smoother paper. Thirdly, printing habit. Printing 100 separate one-page documents over time results in much more wear and tear on the parts compared to printing a single 100-page document all at once. Fourthly, environmental factors. The ambient temperature, air pressure, humidity, and climate conditions also affect the level of wear and tear on the parts. In a mild use scenario, imagine a user printing documents with very low coverage, such as invoices or short letters, on smooth, small, and thin papers in a well-maintained, air-conditioned office environment. Now, in an extreme scenario, imagine another user Printing numerous one to two page documents filled with solid images on very thick and rough large card stocks in an office situated in a desert environment without any air conditioning system. Even under extreme conditions, the last page will maintain excellent printing quality. The puzzling aspect is that, in any usage case, the printers will stop at the same page count, regardless of printing conditions or environmental factors. Is the situation matching with the factors affecting the level of wear and tear? Of course not. The parts in mild use case should have much more usable life remaining, but why the printers used under mild conditions are also stopped at the same page number. Does it ring the bell? The above example clearly shows that most of the printers are stopped, not because the parts are genuinely worn out, but due to the pre-programmed stopping based on the number of pages printed. Unfortunately, these issues are happening in nearly all laser printers nowadays. What if this issue were causing the lose of extra hundreds or even thousands of dollars over the printer's lifetime? Would you be happy with that? Moreover, if these problems contribute to significant negative environmental impact on our planet, would that be acceptable to you? If there is a way to bypass these problems, which means, save your money and our planet at the same time, would you be open to using it? There's a brilliant solution to address these issues, known as Page Counter Reset, and this video will provide you with all the details you need. So please keep watching. If the printer maker's approach is correct, then the wear and tear curve should look like this. However, you already understand that this never happens in the real world. 
Looking at this from an accurate technical and mathematical perspective, the wear and tear process follows a gradual and nearly linear trajectory over a short span of time. Under normal use, the remaining life should only be influenced by wear and tear levels by the usage. If the wear and tear level snapshot was at 50% during continuous printing, the wear and tear level should be somewhere between 50% and 50.001% during the next page printing. It cannot immediately wear out from 50% to 100% within one page printing interval. And for the same manner, the printing quality cannot drop from great level to totally unacceptable level within one page printing interval. If the immediate before printed page was of completely acceptable quality, it would be much more reasonable to assume that the next pages would also be of a similar printing grade. These days, manufacturers declare the error-free quality printing for a specified guaranteed number of pages, such as 25,000 or 100,000 pages, depending on the printer model. In practical cases, achieving completely error-free and sharp quality printing, even under extreme conditions for the guaranteed number of pages, then it requires that, the wear and tear level does not exceed 25% on the last page of guaranteed error-free printing. To be reasonable, if the wear and tear level cannot surpass 25% under extreme conditions, it might even be below 15% under normal use. The graph illustrates a reasonably estimated wear and tear level of parts under normal use conditions. The interval between the double rings on the graph corresponds to the manufacturer declared length of the full cycle of the unit such as 100,000 pages. Regarding the initial cycle of 100,000 pages that shown in green in this case, the manufacturer guarantees the printing quality during this period, and the printing quality will be excellent. Once the manufacturer's guaranteed cycle ends, users can reset and reuse the same parts for at least two more cycles, shown in the blue area. The results of the first and second resets will be fully acceptable, even for business printing purposes. How do we know? This is not solely based on some research or a small number of internal tests on just a few machines. This is proven by the multiple thousands of actual users, ranging from small to industrial grade large printer users during the last few years. We will show the evidence now. Multiple thousands of real buyers have actually used our reset kits on different machines, and more than a thousand people have shared their experiences and feedback on eBay affirming the reset results and the printing quality post-reset. We're not talking about just around a hundred or a few hundred cases, but multiple thousands of successful user experiences. The number is not the only factor to consider. These users include home and office printer users, as well as business owners in the industrial printer repair maintenance sector and business material printing sector and not a single person among them has experienced reset functionality issues or printing quality issues following the reset. To be crystal clear, the feedbacks cannot be manipulated on eBay, since only genuine buyers can leave feedback. So, don't just take my word for it. I encourage you to visit our eBay shop, and review the honest and genuine feedbacks we have received from actual reset kit users over the past few years. This will clearly confirm that resetting and reusing the same parts for extra cycles will provide easy and quick but substantial guaranteed savings for both you and our planet. The third and fourth resets, shown in the orange area, will offer mostly acceptable quality for most users, especially for those mainly printing for casual reading or non-essential documents like travel reservations. If the purpose of printing is for business printing services or if you notice any printing quality issues, Performing minor part changes such as blades or rollers in the units may be required before applying the page counter reset. Or you may consider changing the units at this stage. Resetting more than five times, shown in the red area, mostly require performing minor part changes mentioned just before. Or you may consider changing the units at this stage. Nevertheless, if the quality still meets your needs, you can reset without altering small parts and keep using the same unit. You now have a clear understanding that, many parts declared as 0% life remaining are still in good condition and can be reutilized. Is resetting easy to perform? If you use our reset kit, 
the answer is definitely yes. But without it, the answer is no. In earlier times, carrying out a counter reset was not complicated. Printers were made with a user accessible official counter reset menu. However, manufacturers have subsequently removed these options and introduced a mechanism that forcibly stops the printer when a specific page count is reached. This occurs regardless of the actual condition of the parts. Moreover, the location of the page counter circuits has evolved. They were previously located on the external surface of maintenance parts, so, the replacement was very simple and easy. These days, these circuits are deeply integrated within the parts. Accessing them requires a complex and time-intensive disassembly process which can potentially result in a significant mess. That is why we stepped in and invented a revolutionary and user-friendly reset solution. Most of our reset kits are sticker-type flexible circuit boards. Applying our reset kit is as simple as attaching a plaster on your skin. It does not require complete teardown of the complicated and sensitive parts. It's a quick process that takes just a few seconds. It is, as easy as ABC. You might have a few questions, first, in which cases will the reset not work? Second, if the reset succeeds, how many more pages can you print, and how many times can the reset be performed? Third, what's the environmental impact? Firstly, the page counter reset affects only the page count number and the replace part message, but it does not address physical problems. If your printer has printing defects caused by maintenance parts, a page counter reset cannot resolve the issue. In such cases, if you are not happy with the printing quality, the part itself requires replacement. Before applying reset kits, assess the current printing quality. If the printer stopped due to the page counter issue, evaluate the very last print's quality before it stopped. If the quality is acceptable, you can reset the part and continue using it. Second, how many more pages can you print? If the new part is rated for 100,000 pages, after each reset, you can reuse it for an extra 100,000 pages. If you're unsure how to check the expected extra pages, feel free to contact us, and we'll assist you. Now, how many times can you apply the reset to the same parts? The results of the first and second resets will provide very high quality printing. Most users have found that even during the third to fourth extra cycles, the printing quality remains satisfactory. The level of acceptability depends on your desired printing quality standards. Therefore, regardless how many times you have used the same part so far, when you come across another part replacement message, assess the printing quality at that time. If the quality still meets your requirements, you can proceed with another reset and continue using the same part. Lastly, what is the environmental impact of resetting and reusing the parts? Manufacturing each maintenance part would generate an additional 30 kilograms of CO2 emissions for our planet. Our reset kit significantly reduced this impact to just 30 grams, rather than 30 kilograms. Furthermore, the majority of used maintenance parts ultimately end up in landfills, adding up an environmental burden of approximately 5 to 10 kilograms each. By resetting and reusing drum, belt, and fuser units a total of five times in any combination, you will contribute to saving the planet by avoiding 150 kilograms of CO2 emissions and reducing landfill waste by 30 to 50 kilograms or more. Counter resets save you time, money, and have a significant positive impact on our planet. To sum it up, you now have a clear understanding of what a counter reset is and how it operates. The high quality printing images that are produced during the part change warning messages, or just before the printer stops, clearly show that the parts still have a significant amount of usable life remaining. Resetting and reusing the same part for at least one to two more cycles would still provide excellent printing quality. This has been proven by multiple thousands of our reset kit users, the real users, ranging from individual users to heavy-duty printing business sectors and repair sector engineers. We have shared their feedbacks on the reset experience and provided clear evidence of this within this video. 
Resetting and reusing the parts not only offers cost savings but also significantly contributes to our planet's well-being. Performing resets has become incredibly challenging nowadays, as manufacturers have removed user-accessible reset menus and moved the location of the page counter circuit to deeply integrated and non-accessible spaces within the units. So, we have taken steps to evolve and take over these challenges. We have developed our revolutionary Easy Reset Kits, which have transformed the complicated reset process into something very simple, quick, and safe, suitable for both office and home environments. It's as easy as ABC, just like applying a plaster onto someone's skin. You can purchase our reset kits from our website, eBay, Amazon, and our official partner resellers. Join us, and effortlessly save thousands of dollars for yourself over your printer's lifetime, while making significant positive contributions to our planet.